the secret of discovering real and virtual galaxies. The James Webb Space Telescope discovers enormous distant galaxies that should not exist. This paper has been published in February 22, 2023 by Teresa Pultrava. It states that giant mature galaxies seem to have filled the universe shortly after the Big Bang, and astronomers are puzzled. Nobody expected them. They were not supposed to be there and now nobody can explain how they had formed. Now the explanation based on Saleh theory. This phenomenon may have happened in two ways. A. The discovered galaxies could be real. B. The discovered galaxies could be virtual. A. The discovered galaxies could be real. The first stage of forming a galaxy is the formation of a black hole and the next one is revolving other celestial objects around the black hole. Discovery of a large galaxy indicates the existence of a massive black hole at its center. As we know, a large enough star after this can turn into a high-density black hole. The reason is that there are enough pressure and energy within the star to create a black hole. On the other hand, the initial sphere of the universe at the Big Bang was extremely dense, with about 10 to the power of 42 kg per cubic meter density and an extremely high energy. When a massive star dies, it can create a black hole and the initial sphere of the universe at the Big Bang have had a much higher pressure and energy level which undoubtedly could create a larger black hole than the ones that a star creates after its death. So, the central black hole of this galaxy could be formed at the moment of the Big Bang. Moreover, since this black hole is an initial black hole, it have had enough time for the growth and formation of a large galaxy. B. The discovered galaxies could be virtual. As we know, the existence of velocity causes a shift in frequency or the same red shift and blue shift. Therefore, the amount of shift in frequency is dependent on velocity. On the other hand, according to Hubble's law, greater distance means a higher velocity. Considering the distance of this galaxy, its velocity will be so high. Therefore, the frequency shift of this galaxy is so high and causes a shift from range of visible light frequencies to radio waves, X-rays, or vice versa, which we call high shift and low shift. This galaxy could be virtual, it means that the phenomenon of high shift or low shift may have had an effect on it and caused the creation of a celestial mirage. The details of the both A and B have been published. C. The final and complete answer. Based on the properties of this galaxy, it could be a real galaxy, but the effect of blue shift and high shift or the effect of red shift and low shift can be imagined on it. In fact, it can be said that the captured image is a combination of real and virtual.
An example for explaining mode C. Considering that the galaxy is real due to the phenomenon of celestial mirages, which occur due to the high speed of the galaxy relative to us and causes a change in the received frequency from the galaxy, resulting from the phenomenon of high shift blue shift or low shift red shift, we observe it in a different location. For example, we should observe Mars in its actual location, but due to celestial mirages, we observe it in the location of Venus, or by thinking that we observe Mars, but due to the errors of above phenomena, we actually observe Saturn. In general, it can be said that the actual position of the galaxy, according to logical and scientific calculations, is correct, but due to celestial mirages, changes in location and color occur when observing it. The galaxy may be farther away and we see it closer or farther and may be on the right side, but it appears on the left side. In fact, it can be said that, just as we have light refraction, on the surface of the water, celestial mirages also can shift the image. Hint What is the solution? Using telescopes that work based on the wavelengths of waves, we must say that the best way to prevent such ambiguities is to build telescopes those sensors operate based on wavelengths rather than frequency, since the wavelength always has a constant value.